okay with the previous session we are done with snowflake scripting course and here is the conclusion so by end of this course you should be able to do following things okay you should be able to understand the concepts of snowflake scripting and implement these concepts wherever required and you should be able to understand the complex procedures and do some enhancements so in real time uh, there may not be a need to write uh, complex stored procedures but at least uh, you have to understand the procedures that are that were written by some other team members and you have to do some modifications as part of enhancements okay by end of this course at least you should be able to understand all those complex procedures written by other team members and you should be able to write small stored procedures also you can try writing difficult procedures and complex procedures as well okay and you should be able to write scalar and tabular udfs so after the completion of the course still if you are able to if you are not able to write the stored procedures or if you are struggling to write the stored procedures then i can suggest below things okay first you have to understand the requirements so if you are writing a stored procedure that means uh, to fulfill some requirement right so first of all you have to understand what is the exact requirement what is the input i am getting what is the output i have to provide so you have to understand that requirement first then write down write down your approach in sentences so based on your requirement so list down the step steps and write them in the sentences format okay then break down your approach into blocks or parts suppose if you have a huge requirement and you have to write a complex procedure then uh, you are writing all your steps in the sentences right try to break down your approach into some blocks of blocks or parts okay then try to make use of snowflake documentation and google as much as possible suppose uh, you need to write a uh, complex stored procedure and you have to implement lot of uh, uh, concepts there okay then you you listed down all the steps to be performed then write the code for each and every step as a block or as a part okay so if you are uh, if you have any doubts in writing that okay so there is very good uh, very good snowflake documentation available in the snowflake website so try to make use of that and nowadays there is lot of documentation in google as well so lot of people providing blogs on snowflake so whatever the issues they are facing what is the solution for that and all the advanced concepts they are covering so try to make use of the google as much as possible okay so don't depend on others so uh, you should improve your debugging skills that means if you are struggling somewhere so you you have to know how to use google to get out of that situation or if you are facing any error any issue so how to use google uh, to fix that issue you should not depend on others every time okay and no need to worry so 90% of the cases you will get a solution from the snowflake documentation or from the google so after doing all of this still if you are struggling to write the procedure okay reach out to me i can help whenever i get some time okay so finally i can say so don't just go through the videos practice the queries and procedures so that you will get very good hands on experience and try and try until you succeed so after one day or two days uh, okay so don't give up you try and try until you succeed that means try your try your best to learn the concepts and uh, write the stored procedures and learn from failures that means so if you are facing any error or if you are struggling to uh, write something okay so learn from that failures okay and don't repeat those mistakes again uh, suppose you are facing one error today and after a lot of effort you are able to fix it okay so list out that so what is the error you have faced and what is the solution you have applied okay so you have to learn from those failures and you should not repeat those mistakes again okay so this is what i can suggest and i wish you all the very best and thank you so much for choosing my course thank you bye i wish you all the very best